Welcome to today's edition of Three Minutes of Halacha. Today is Isruchag, the day after Shavuot. And because it is Isruchag, we didn't say Tachmun in Shachrit, and we won't say it at Mincha. However, the question is, what about tomorrow? There is a Gemara in Chagiga and Daf Yud Zayin Amur Aleph, which teaches us in the name of Rabbi Lazar, the name of Rabbi Hoshea, that when it comes to Shavuot, Shavuot is just like Pesach and just like Sukkot in the sense that they all have Tashlumen. Tashlumen was the opportunity for a person to make up the bringing of the special sacrifice for the holiday in the Beit HaMikdash. And so, for example, on the first day of Pesach, if they didn't bring the sacrifice, they could bring it all seven days afterwards. They didn't do it on Sukkot, they could bring it all seven days afterwards. Of course, Pesach and Sukkot, the seven days afterwards, are still part of the holiday. What about Shavuot? The answer is that Shavuot shares that same principle with them. That Shavuot also has Tashlumin, even though Shavuot, the times of the Beit HaMikdash, was one day long, or now for us who live in the diaspora, two days long, we still have Tashlumin. And as a result of that, the pre Chadash taught that when it comes to the post-Shavuot period, we don't resume saying Tachanun until the 13th day of Sivan. The Ramah disagrees. And the Ramah says, no, we don't say Tachun from Rosh Chodesh. Everyone agrees that, to that, and until after the holiday. And we don't say it on Chet, on Isruchag. But after Isruchag, on the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, and the 12th of Sivan, we do say Tachun. What's the basis of their disagreement? It suggested that the basis is really in a very simple fact. What is the nature of Tashlumin, of these days, these seven extra days to make up for bringing the sacrifice? According to the pre those extra days have an element of the holiday of Shavuot still associated with them. And therefore, for these extra days, we still have the simcha, the joy of Shavuot, and we wouldn't say Tachlum. According to the Ramam, it's more a question of a technicality that technically we're allowed to bring the sacrifices for these days. We can make up the sacrifice that wasn't brought at the right time. But these days don't have any element left over. They don't have a srach of the chag. They don't have anything left of Shavuot. And therefore, once you get past Isru Chag, the post-holiday day, you would immediately begin saying Tachun once again. The custom at KINS is that we don't say Tachnun until the end of the 12th, or we start saying it on the 13th, like the Prin Chadash taught.